We don't need no stinking ice dragons around here, okay? We're a fire dragon family. And hopefully the fire dragon doesn't run out before he dies. Oh, we got the magic one. Ooh. Are you gonna put him back together? Well, that was very nice of, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dick move, wand. What's up, guys, and welcome back to Happy Room. And for today's episode, we are finally gonna unlock the dragon. I need to get my hands on this new ultimate weapon that was released with dungeon mode, but to do that, I need two things. The first being a room, but not just any room. It needs to be a finely tuned and precise killing machine that probably took a lot of time off camera to make. And the second, a dummy. But again, can't just be any dummy. Hey, it needs to be the perfect dummy. So I have gone to great lengths to call up number 69 here. Because as anybody will tell you, 69 is the greatest. Obviously, I have yet to test this out because I haven't unlocked the dragon yet. So I have no idea if it's gonna work or not, but fingers crossed. Come on, 69, you can do it, there you go. Full body contact on the wheel and just take it all. Ooh, okay, we got it, the Tesla. Okay, well, that, that's not too bad. It's not a dragon, but it's a retirement well-deserved. You know what, that worked so well, I think I'm gonna get greedy. I'm gonna try for three challenges right now. We're gonna deal 4,000 damage to a dummy that's shrunk. We're gonna try to free a dummy from cobwebs using a Tesla four times, as well as deal 8,000 damage while a dummy is stuck on a ceiling. So hopefully we can just have a stuck together, spider covered, tiny little dummy. It's getting electrocuted. <laughs> I doubt it. It's really hard to keep them stuck to the ceiling. Oh, okay. These Teslas have quite a bit of a kick to them. <laughs> you see what I mean? <laughs> He's really just pinballing around, but we got all the other ones. That's good. Great mission accomplished. Thank you. Uh, that'll be all. Uh, what was your number? 72. That'll be all 72. You could just slide off into retirement. <laughs> I love that you can see his little skeleton. Or, you know, what's left of it. <laughs> he could be at this forever, okay? Let, let's just move on. So I managed to scrounge up that last tiny little bit of damage that we needed to unlock the sheep. I just don't really understand what a sheep is. I, I know what a sheep is, but I don't know what it's gonna do. <laughs> I'm just gonna place a couple of them there, and I guess we'll, oh. Oh, oh God, they're like, Heat-seeking blimp missile sheep. Oh, go, 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 go. Oh, you're so close. We can smell the dragon from here. Ah, crap. If I just earn a little bit more money, I'll have enough to complete this. No, you know what? Screw that. I'm gonna go for it. I've upgraded my sheep and I've upgraded my wheel. Hopefully that'll make the difference. If 78 could just kind of lie down, really hug that wheel. Oh, oh, go sheep, go sheep. There we go. That's good. Go, go, go. Sheep flew the distance challenge complete, whatever the hell that means. How did we get so much less damage? Yet we used all of the same weapons. I don't get it. Either way, we're in more money. It was worth it. I really enjoy these easier, more thematic challenges in making sheep fly past hay 10 times. Should be easy enough, right? We got like 30, 40 sheep. We got lots of hay. They have to fly past the hay. <laughs> if they're gonna get to my soft, squishy tummy, I still don't understand why we have dummy seeking sheep rockets, but I'm not complaining. I never even realized that these challenges have names, but this one is called Explosive Party. Explode sheep, bomb, fish, and jumper. So I've only added one tiny little bomb. They're kind of boring. The fish and the sheep, however, <laughs> very interested in seeing how they tango together. <laughs> we also have the jumpers. The jumper's gonna take a while, okay? He's gonna have to stop screwing around with the fish and the sheep and just start bouncing around on the ground, wear them down, replace them with the bomb, and then explode. Come on, e four, five, maybe? It's hard to tell, will you stop moving? <laughs> I think that uh, that's 85, 86? Will you stop moving, damn it? Okay, either way, you completed the challenge. Thank you, you're done, go away now. Detonate 100 bombs. Now, I don't know about you guys, I wasn't counting. I'm gonna assume that's as close to 100 as we're gonna need to go. <laughs> Oh, oh, I was gonna say, did we really just get 99 and then miss the rest of them? We're good. 
I can almost understand a wall, but why can I put a guillotine on the ceiling? Like, how is that supposed to work? <laughs> Don't ask questions. All I know is that right now I need to lose a head. Right? Cut off head with a guillotine. Not a hand, not a leg. We already lost the helmet. It's a good start. I don't know why I gave that to him to begin with. Don't ride the guillotine. You gotta lose your head to it. He doesn't throw his neck out there. That's the problem. This might actually be really difficult. I don't think I've even cut my dummy's head off all that many times. He's really dominoing down through them though. Ooh, yeah, that, uh, you can see brain. That's a good start. You see, this wouldn't happen if you just put your neck out there. We're not looking to pulp your head. Oh, come on. Technically, the guillotines don't need to do all the work, right? They just need to land the final blow. So how about I cut off half the room? That way we still hit the same number of guillotines and hopefully the Teslas help out. They do a lot of damage. They, they seem to really help with the whole decapitation process. <laughs> you guys weaken them, get them nice and soft, nice and pulpy. There you go, lose all those arms and legs and stuff like that. We don't need those. I'm just gonna leave the rest of the guillotine. No, no, stupid Teslas, you're not supposed to take the head. How about something like this, right? We won't go with so many Teslas. We're gonna reduce the odds of them finishing off the head, but at the same time, we do need them. Now, don't be greedy, okay? Just get your vinegar strokes in and then leave the rest up to the guillotine. <laughs> I even got a wall guillotine up just to see if it does anything. It, it probably won't. That's a very damaged head. We just took off both arms. <laughs> come on, come on. You're gonna be kidding me. <laughs> Why is the head always the last thing to go? Finish him! <gasps> yes! Just in time! This is a weird one. We need to teleport an axe, and I'm not sure how that works, but I got a teleporter up, I got a room full of axes, and 97 is ready to break them off and I guess chuck them in the teleporter? Does that make sense? I know they break off, but I don't know if they're physical afterwards. Oh, they are! And they stick in things. Oh, there we go! Okay. I don't know why they would want me to do that. Now we need to teleport goblins 20 times. Did he lick me? This has to work, right? There's no way these goblins aren't gonna be teleported. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so many goblins. I think I got two challenges there. Oh my God, there's so many of them. This is actually a lot of damage. Is this really gonna be the stupidity that unlocks the dragon for me? It's still going. Come on, come on, come on, keep going. I mean, he's just like cereal bits. He's like the little bit that's left at the bottom of the box. Come on, come on, come on, yes! We got fire dragon and ice dragon. Whatever that means. Okay, thank you goblins, appreciate that. This is actually kind of intimidating. Apparently we can only have one fire dragon and one ice dragon at a time So I have each of them at either end of the room and we need to do a thousand damage with fire lightning and ice So I've added a whole lot of lightning. We can't possibly screw this up, right? Okay, hey dragons. How you guys doing? <laughs> Want to play a little ping pong with my dummy? You think you guys could do a thousand damage? <laughs> Easy enough, right? How have we done like 12,000 damage, but we haven't done a thousand of it with all of the weapons in the room? That doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> he's just a little charred frozen torso. Holy crap. Oh, he's even got like burnt shadows on the back of the room. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, how about we upgrade our fire dragon and we upgrade our ice dragon. And we're gonna try that again, but this time with no electricity because I need to tear off three body parts with dragons. And those Teslas, man, they're, they're greedy. So we're just gonna <laughs> let them bounce back and forth. Wait, does the ice dragon makes spikes on the roof and I think the fire dragon covers the room in fire? I hadn't noticed that with all of the Teslas all over the place. Yeah, he takes damage when he hits the icicles. That's really cool. We still didn't get three body parts, but I feel like that's just poor luck. I think there's like a hundred or so challenges in the game. So I'm only, what, a little over halfway there, but I feel like we're to the point where I can kill the dummy now. We've gotten pretty freaking close. So I wanna try to do that with the dragon. I've brought back the tried and true design of a gentle bounce pass to the wheel. And so long as Mr. Dummy here can hold on, he should take a whole lot of damage. Oh! Oh, 
Oh, it's an electric fly swatter. <laughs> awesome. Well, there you have it. There's our first kill. Oh man, the frick of Teslas every time they're so greedy. Why couldn't you give it to the dragon? This should work better, right? It won't do as much damage, I don't think, but it should be a much slower burn, right? The magic wands kind of damage over time, similar to the dragon, whereas the Tesla do like 5,000 damage in one bolt and just shoot it to the finish line. So I don't want that. I want the dragons to have a chance. Once again, you're gonna dive over, you're gonna hold on real tight, and you're hopefully gonna let the dragons finish things off. Yeah! Dragonality! Oh, that's awesome! So would it be different with the fire dragon? Should we try again? I gotta try again. We don't need no stinking ice dragons around here, okay? We're a fire dragon family. And hopefully the fire dragon doesn't run out before he dies. Oh, we got the magic one! Ooh. Are you gonna put him back together? Well, that was very nice of... Oh. <laughs> Dick move, wand. Our problem right now is that the dragon runs out of juice before the dummy dies. So we need to do more damage up front. That way the dragon is around for the finishing line. And I thought maybe we could do a whole ton of damage right off the bat with bombs. But the problem is he tends to kind of lose all of his limbs and then he just falls off the wheel. <laughs> Still doing a whole lot of damage, but without those wands on the ceiling, it just it doesn't quite get there. Hmm. When in doubt, try exploding sheep. I'm sure that'll help, right? <laughs> Hopefully, you're not a bunch of limb breakers, but explosions should do a lot of damage right off the bat, and then the dragon doesn't get the job done. Oh, wait, wait, wait! Sheep! You can do it, sheep! Finish, finish the job, sheep! <laughs> All right, you know what? Well-deserved, sheep. <laughs> I can appreciate that. I'm after trying a couple of dozen iterations and nothing is working. So as much as I don't like it, we're gonna have to go back to the Teslas and just hope that they can share, right? Can you guys please be nice and let the fire dragon get his licks in? Just, just shock click one more time. One more time. Almost. How about we try a bit of a dragon tag team? All right, we're gonna leave the fire dragon over there on the right. He can hang out. The ice dragon is gonna be the one to weaken him and then hopefully he'll play nice and just eject the dummy to the other side of the room once he's done. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Come on, Fire Dragon, you can do it. You got so much juice left. Are you kidding me? You can't turn your stupid scaly neck just a little bit more. He's right there. Oh my God, I feel like I'm gonna burst a blood vessel. There, we're gonna put a single bomb there. <laughs> that one bomb is gonna be there just in case he tries to reach that corner again. And hopefully things will go the exact same way as it did before. Rarely happens in this game, but maybe. There we go. Yes! Dragonality. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, I did not think that was gonna work. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Happy Room, guys. And it's definitely been a while since I've seen Dummy 132, if at all. I've been playing this for a very long time. There's a whole lot of trial and error, but we finally have all of the weapons and we're getting endings. So if you guys wanna see another episode, as always, be sure to leave a like on the video and let me know what do you wanna see me do? Because I could do more challenges, I could get more endings, maybe both, whatever you guys prefer. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.